Hi there, happy hump day and welcome to Wednesday. So we're starting off today's happy hump day message, talking a little bit about Shakespeare. Now, that's certainly not what I would normally be talking about in a happy hump day message. But one of my favorite Shakespearean plays is Henry V. And if you've watched it or if you've read it, you'll know that it centers around the time before and after the Battle of Agincourt in 1450. And it's a true story. So the English troops were vastly outnumbered by the French soldiers and victory looked uncertain. The night before the battle, the king uh, for the English, so Henry V, is wandering around the English camp and he's talking to the soldiers, but in disguise, because he wants to find out how they're feeling and also to be able to comfort them. The next morning, Henry leads his troop into battle and ultimate victory. His leadership wasn't from the back. His leadership was from the front and participating in the battle. When I was re-watching this play recently, what really struck me was when I was thinking about leaders of today and the contrast. Because today, often leading isn't done from the front. It's not down in the trenches. Instead, it's done remotely, from a com comfortable office perhaps, via emails, SMS, or social media. And in the modern world, usually if countries are going to war against each other, it's not the ruling politicians or the leaders who are going into battle. And likewise, often corporate leaders can remain one step removed from decisions and expect employees to do things they wouldn't like to do or want to do. Throughout my corporate career, what I found was that the best leaders were the ones who were willing to get amongst it, the ones who were willing to roll their sleeves up and really willing to understand what it was like working on the front line, serving customers, dealing with situations that were difficult and uncomfortable. And they're eager to experience the challenges that a staff are facing because they know that the more they understand what's really happening on the shop floor, the better decisions they'll be able to make. Now leading from the front, it can't be done from the comfort of your office or even from an open plan desk, it involves really getting amongst it rolling your sleeves up, getting actively involved in staff at all levels of the organization. So you can really understand the challenges, but also the opportunities that they face. Actively leading change so that you're seeking to immerse yourself in what that change means. You're not asking people around you to change in a way that you're not prepared to go and do first that you're not making one rule for you and perhaps for other senior leaders and then another rule for other people. That there's fairness, that there's equity. You're not asking your team members and staff to do something that you wouldn't want to do. You're approachable, which means that you're willing to listen to other people. You're willing to listen to people in lower levels in the organization. You genuinely care and have compassion for their needs you really seek to understand the environment that they're in. And you seek to understand how decisions you're making will impact them, both for the good and for the not so good, so that you're able to make wise decisions. And that you're really conscious that when you're in a leadership position, you're in a privileged position because with that position comes power. And with power, that means you can impact people around you in ways that can be great, but also in ways that are not good. You know, it takes courage to step out in front. It can feel safer and far less risky to step back and to make decisions, run your organization or run the team, cocooned away from the action. But progress, good progress, is far harder to make when you play it safe. Take care and I'll see you next week.